All right, so let's get right into the topic today. Today I want to deal with a topic entitled, Don't Avenge Yourself. Do not avenge yourself. Romans chapter 12 verse 19 says the following. Beloved, do not avenge yourselves, but rather give place to wrath. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. What does it mean? It means this, do not go and try and fix something or defend yourself. All right, God will vindicate you. Now in my life, there have been countless multitudes of false allegations and accusations thrown at us as a family, as an individual. And I want to tell you something. I learned very quickly. In the earlier years, I used to fight for it. I go, that's a lie. I stand for righteousness. I stand for truth. We need to expose this thing. And I fight and I fought. And all it did was create a fight and then people who were my friends suddenly distanced themselves and said, I don't want to get between you and whoever else. So we will stay out of this. And I actually ended up losing a lot of friends. And I started to realize something. People are not there to fight for righteousness or justice. People don't like getting involved with something that's not theirs. And so God started to deal with me personally and said, listen, do not avenge yourself Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. I will sort this out. And by the time we got to the biggest battle of my life, I learned this principle. And I refused, even if some of the, the leadership around me and the people around me used to get angry with me where I said, I will not avenge this. I will not fight this. I will not try and prove something. I'm going to allow God to do this. And let me tell you something. There was a season that it looked like nothing was happening. Everything had been taken away from us. Everything had been shattered. Everything had been destroyed. And it looked like absolutely nothing was coming. I want to tell you today, every single person who was involved in that so-called sorting this out or, or taking Arthur out or whatever it was, have come to repent personally to me. And we've made right. In fact, some of that leadership we've even used in the lockdown come to come and pray over the nation. I want to tell you, that's how much things have been corrected. So God comes and He vindicates us and He sorts us out. And He brings us to the place that He has. If lies are being spoken over you, God will bring the truth out. <clears throat> but the catch is this. Don't you get involved. Don't you try and fix it. Allow God to do the work. Allow God to minister. And bring you to the place that you need to be. He will vindicate if this lies around you. And so this morning when we come around the table. Let us realize that God is in control. God is in control. God can sort this out. He will do it. He will fight for you. And he will bring righteousness and justice. He will. And whatever the enemy has taken. God says that he will restore. Which he has in my case. Whatever Satan tried to steal, God has restored. And so this morning when we come around the table, let us celebrate what God has for us. Alright? On the night that Jesus was, con uh, was betrayed, He took bread and broke it. He said, this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. He took the cup. He said, this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our physical, emotional healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our salvation, protection, and provision. And so this morning as we come around the table and we minister to the Lord and say, God, we love you, we worship you. Let us celebrate the fact that God not only has paid the price, not only has he set up a covenant for us, but he's also promised that he will fight for us. That he will step in and change the situation in Jesus' name. All we have to do is rely on Him and trust Him for a supernatural move. Let's pray. Lord, we come before You this morning. We ask You please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, action, motive, intention. God, I ask You please to bring us into the place of wholeness and fullness in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank You that as we stand righteous before You, Lord, I thank You that we will stay submitted to Your Word. And Lord, that we will do what You have called us to do in Jesus' name. 
And Lord, right now, I ask you to move by your Spirit in our lives like never before. And Lord, I thank you that you will fight the battle for us. Lord, I thank you that your word clearly states that vengeance is yours. And Lord, that you will repay. Lord, I ask you to move by your Spirit in a mighty way. And Lord, I thank you that we will stay submitted to you and we will not try and fix things ourselves. But Lord, that we will rely, rely on you and trust you to intervene for us. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together, saints. Lord, we thank you right now that as we come before you, we thank you for a supernatural healing over our bodies. Lord, I command every form of sickness to leave us in Jesus' name. And Lord, I thank you that we walk in divine health and we walk in divine healing. I thank you, Lord, that we are healed by the power of God. Thank you, God, that your word says that by your stripes we are healed. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Alright, folks, it is Friday, oh, Friday, it is Sunday morning and Pastor Don is on at 10 o'clock so please get ready for that and that um, um, Lazelle, teacher Lazelle okay, has sorted out the children's church, English and Afrikaans so please go and watch that on uh, Father's Art Kids and I want to just let you know, there are so many people watching that children's church in fact, the one lady has got a whole school um, that come, I don't know if it's aftercare or who it is, but they have a whole group that come and watch her teachings every single week. And so every week they're doing all of it, the, the, the crafts and everything. So I want to tell you right now, this thing is getting out a lot further than what we think. And God is helping us stick to a Christian stand. I asked her to do all the biblical stories right through the Bible. And once we finish the whole Bible, then she can then do topics. But I wanted the stories right through the Bible. Now we have already finished the whole Old Testament. We're busy in the New Testament. But when this is finished, I have a plan to go and take this entire Bible on children's church level, put it onto a stick that you as parents and grandparents physically can just play it in the TV and let your children or grandchildren just watch biblical principles all the time. And so I'm very excited about this project. Alright, because the Bible says train a child in the way that he should go and he won't depart from it. But there are so many, and I want to say this, I'm very concerned about this. I've had so many from around about 2004, I started to pick this up, that we would have Bible school students enrolling for full-time Bible school and they don't even know their Bible stories. The generation today don't know any of these stories. Okay, so I want to say to you, we need to get a tool to start educating and training our children in Jesus' name. So as soon as we are ready, I'm going to put it onto a stick and we are going to release it to the nation. And every family must get one of these. And on that stick, you're going to have it in English and in Afrikaans and you're going to have the crafts on it. Everything is going to be all in one spot. Because we have to get a tool to help our next generation in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, so I want to just say, it's going to be an amazing thing. So you want to check this out so long? Today's episode is going to be on Father's Art uh, Kids. It's that Facebook page. Go and watch it. Watch one of them. And they have very jacked up music and praise and worship for the kids too. Alright? So right now I want to pray. But before I do that, I want to remind you, tonight I'm teaching at 6 o'clock. I'm teaching on this. Expectation versus activation. How many of us are trusting God for a miracle? How many of us have got a promise of the Lord that we need in our lives? And we haven't seen it yet. Alright, what do I do to activate that thing, to get it to go? So I want you please to tune in tonight at 6 o'clock. I'm going to be teaching on how to have that expectation on that God is going to come through for me and how to activate the promise that He has given me in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, let's pray for the families. Father, I pray for each and every family right now in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you, Lord, that as we come together as families, Father, I pray your blessing and anointing in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you that every single family will be blessed in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that they will reach the fullness of what you have. Father, I thank you for the destiny and the purpose that you've got for them. 
And Lord, that they will do what you're telling them to do in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you that each and every one is born again, each and every one is saved, and each and every one will fulfill what you've called them to do in Jesus' name. Father, I thank you for the anointing of God to flow in their lives. And Lord, I thank you that the families are blessed. And Lord, I thank you that they will be able to rest wonderfully this weekend in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, that they will be um, totally uh, blessed, refreshed, and ready for the week that's coming. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. All right. Let's, uh, let's do our declaration today. And I know that God is going to move and do something special for us. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment, supernatural increase, restoration, increased assets, great victories, recognition, Prominence, petitions granted, policies and rules changed, battles won that I did not have to fight, all because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. So saints, I want to bless you. I want to commend you. I want to say go out and have the joy of the Lord, the peace of God. Release the power and the fire of God wherever you go in Jesus' mighty name.